there is another concept called context variables. Now, regular variable that you create when you use the set function is what's called a global variable. You can reference that variable all throughout your application. If you want a variable to be, let's say, a separate copy uh, on one screen than, an, than another screen, use a context variable. And you don't use the set keyword. Let me create a button here. Let's, let's insert a button. And what we'll do here is for the on select. So for this button, let's give it uh, some button text over here. So click on text. Go in here and type um, update context. That's what we call. Let's make it a little bigger. And in order to create a context variable on the onSelect event, we're going to call the function update context. And this is used a little differently than the set keyword. So inside of parentheses, we're going to have curly braces. This looks a little weird. So I actually create all my context variables with this underscore, but I'm actually going to make it very obvious as a context variable. I'm going to say CTX variable. And let's take the value of it and add one to it. Okay. Now, what the main difference is between a context variable and a regular variable. Regular variable is global. Once you declare it or set it, it can be accessed throughout the whole application. Now, a context variable, once you use it within a screen, it can only be used within that screen. And if you use the same context variable name in another screen, those two variables are going to be completely separate. In the programming world, it's actually called scope. So the scope for a regular variable in Power Apps is global. The scope for a context variable is a screen. All right, now that we have a button added to the screen that is using a context variable, and we're updating it, we're incrementing the number by one, let's add a label to actually display what's going on with that context variable. So I'm going to go up to the top and say insert label. And we'll drag this thing down here. And... Down here, I'm going to type an underscore, and there's our context variable at the very top. I'm going to hit tab, and it's just going to display whatever is in that variable. Now, right now, you don't see anything because it hasn't. this button hasn't been clicked on yet, and that's the only place where we're actually using that context variable. So it really hasn't been initialized yet. So um, something I'd like to also do is give a border to this label because if it doesn't have any value in it, uh, you're not going to be able to see it and you might want to click on it. Let's hold down the Alt key on the keyboard, click the button, and there we go. There's one, two, three, four, five. Very good. All right, so let's do something else here. Let's select the button, select the label, hit Control-C on the keyboard to copy, hit Control-V on the keyboard to paste, okay? And up here, I'm going to do something similar, but this time I'm going to say Use Set, Use Set. And for this variable, we're actually going to use a set like we did above on this same screen here. And I'm going to use var. That's what I typically uh, prefix all my global variables with var. And we'll say new variable. And uh, what we'll do is we'll take the name of that variable. We'll take it and we'll add one to it. Okay. I'm going to go over to this label. Instead of using that context variable, I'm going to paste that name of that new variable I created. I'm going to hold down Alt on the keyboard. I'm going to click on that button. There's one. I did this side by side to prove a point or to, to demonstrate something. So if I click on all four of these, I hit Control C on my keyboard. Let's go back to our rules screen and let's paste it here on this screen. Look at that. What you will notice is that the global variable has been initialized. It's been initialized to one and I can click on it a few times until it gets up to 10. But uh, this context variable that's being referenced here, so if we have the label selected, if we go up to the right side of the screen and hit, click on text, we'll see that it's referencing the context variable. But because the scope of a context variable is a screen, and because we went to a different screen, on this screen it hasn't been initialized. So I'm going to hold down Alt, I'm going to click on the button, now it's 1. Okay. Now what happens if we go back to this LO7 variable screen, so we've got 10 and we have five. Go back to the rules. There's 10 and there's one. So context variable on each screen has its own value. But a global 
is global throughout the application. So I just want to take my time to sort of explain that. So there's two ways to create variables, either a set global or using the update context for a context variable in which the scope is only a screen. Did you know this is a part of a 20 part series which goes over all the basics of Power Apps? And if you liked this video, chances are you'll want to check out the other parts as well. Are you feeling overwhelmed with Power Apps? Do you feel there's just so much to learn and you don't know where to start? Lucky for you, Darren has the solution. Discover how you can condense six months of Power App struggles in just 90 minutes. Click on the link below to learn more about Darren's Power App Deep Dive Masterclass.